Like and subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon to get new video updates. The race to the ocean globe race scuttlebit sailing news most would consider it an epic, life-changing feat to sail 30,000 miles around the world via the three great capes, but the adventurers who have joined the 2022-23 ocean globe race are now well aware that they have to start in September 10th place is as daunting a challenge as the race itself thousands of hours of conversions, training, qualifying passages and safety courses are completed across the fleet of 14. The race is in tune with the spirit of the Whitbread of 1973, which pitted normal sailors with sextants and paper nautical charts, but without phenomenal budgets foils and super high-tech computers, Dominique Dubois owner and skipper of the Evrica FR, shows enormous stamina to keep his Swan 65 catch from 1982. His previous boat, the Futuro, competed in the Auger, but was damaged earlier in the year when Storm Gerard blew it off its cradle in the boatyard. But Dubois found and acquired Evrica and kept his dream alive, like sailing around the world in 1973. The biggest challenge is having to redo everything in just four months instead of two years, Dubois said. I run to the race. There is so much to do and plans change every day. Mark Sinclair, also known as Golden Globe S Captain Coconut, skippers the Explorer AU and Nodder Swan 57, owned by Augur founder and race director Don McIntyre. We've been there. We re extremely busy, fitting lifelines and exhaust pipes, installing new life rafts and checking all our sails, Sinclair noted. We installed our defibrillator, tested and trained, fitted our hydrovane the list is very, very long. Another Australian entrant, Outlaw AU, a beautiful Baltic 55, had been out of the water for over 10 years and was in need of one complete overhaul, before crossing the Atlantic to return home.